Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist number 22 in atomic structure. Let's get going. Bam! So, average atomic mass calculation number three. Iridium has two stable isotopes, iridium-191 and iridium-193, with masses of 190.960548 atomic mass units and 192.962917 atomic mass units, respectively. That respectively means that they are in the same order, hopefully. We're going to determine the percent abundance of iridium-193. That is the second isotope, the most massive of the isotopes of the two. Okay, this is the equation that we're using this whole time. I've highlighted in yellow, yellow what we're looking for. Okay, and in the purple is something that we are not given in the problem, but we should solve for it in order to solve for the problem. So this is one of the masses that is the lower mass. That's why it goes right there first. This is the second mass. It's the higher mass. That's why it goes there. Okay, this number for iridium is on the periodic table. So you're going to go look at your periodic table right now and find iridium. Okay, it is on a mass in a range between 191 and 193. Okay, and this is what we're solving for. We are solving for, for the percentage of iridium 93. So since we are solving this, we're going to call this our most famous variable of all. And that is what? That is X. So we're going to call this X. So what we need to do is solve for the other percentage, but in terms of x. So remember, x plus y is equal to 1, which is the whole thing, which is otherwise known as x plus y is equal to 100%. So it's x plus y is equal to 1, okay? Because these are percentages in decimal form, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to solve for y because we have x plus y is equal to 1. So we're going to move the x to the other side with subtraction. Then we're going to solve for y, and then we have y is equal to 1 minus x. This is the other percentage. The other percentage is 1 minus x. There are so many students that put x minus 1, I can't believe it. So make sure it's 1 minus x, because 1 is the total. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the values that we have, the number that's on the periodic table, the two masses, and then my variables in terms of x and 1 minus x. And that's going to go right there like that. So the 192.2, that came from the periodic table for iridium. I got the 1 minus x, and I got the mass of the first isotope, the lower mass. And then I have x, which is what I'm solving for. So what I have to do in this problem, hopefully you haven't forgotten your algebra skills from a long time ago. And what you have to do is distribute that 190 with the 1 and the minus x, and you distribute the 192 with the x. And that's what we're doing right there like that. So we're going to distribute this, and then we're going to solve for x after that. So here we go. Now we have this after our distribution. We're keeping all these numbers in our calculator. We're writing it all down on our piece of paper. Remember, you're following your algebraic skills that hopefully you're very familiar with. We're going to combine our like terms. Notice that there's you take the variable terms and you take the sign in front of it together. We're going to add those up. We're also going to move that 190 to the other side. Okay, and then after moving the 190 to the other side and combining our like terms with the variable x, we're going to get this here. Then we're going to divide both sides by the coefficient in front of the x, that's the 2.00233, etc. So we're going to divide by that. Then x is going to be equaling this number. This is the number that's going to come off in my calculator here. Okay, and then I need to round this correctly. So I'm going to look at the original numbers that I have in the problem or were given to me, which the periodic table is one of those numbers. And you should see this highlighted in green. I got four significant figures, nine significant figures, and nine significant figures. The least number of significant figures is four. So I'm going to underline this here on my number that's in my calculator. I'm looking at that eight right there with the arrow for rounding. That eight is five or greater, so I'm going to add one to the previous preceding digit. Then I'm going to have the percentage and the units. So I have number units formula. I did multiply this by 100 because it did ask for a percentage, not in decimal form. 
Just a real big hint here on a couple of items here. Number one, if you put the X in replace of Iridium 191, you would have gotten 100 minus the 61.90. And you still could have gotten the answer. You just take your decimal value that you solve for and one minus that would be your answer. Okay, again, make sure you don't have X minus one. That is incorrect. You'll never get the correct answer. I want you to take a look and review the three lectures on average atomic mass calculations. One, two, and three. I've solved for all three components that you could possibly solve for. One of them is the average mass. The other one is the mass of an isotope. The other one is the percentage of an isotope. Those are all the possibilities that you can solve for on these problems. So make sure you review all three, okay? I am the crazy hat chemist. There's no bull about that. Take the bull by the horns. Hopefully you'll get to know that later on, okay? I got one more video in this series. Give me a thumbs up on my video. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.